Welcome. This is a special report. This is the eclipse amplification and embodiment. And this is truly for new earth revelation in this beautiful year of 2020. Ascension way shower Sandra Walter is exquisite in the message that she shares. It is truly uplifting and it is a reminder that we are here to fully embody as source. And this process is amplified as we are here in this incredible Trinity Eclipse window. Let's welcome Sandra Walter and thank you for being here and sharing this very sacred space with us today. Oh, blessings, Loren and everyone. It was just, it was kind of interesting. You know, a couple of days ago, I had just put out my newsletter and I was thinking about everything that was going on right now. And even with all the preparation and comprehension of what's going on, I know it's been a really rough week. And then I got an email from you just showed up in my inbox and I was like, okay, <laughs> we need to connect and just provide maybe a little grounding, a little anchoring, a little support for everyone because it, it is, it's a huge clearings, huge revelations that we're going through this year. And we're at the midway point and we just started the eclipses, which is why things are getting more chaotic. And even though it was predicted, the experience is the experience is the experience, right? So it's a good time to check in with everyone and go, hey, how are you doing with this timeline division? How are you doing with what's uh, happening in the external looking so crazy and all these other things and just kind of recenter everybody? Uh, because we have some very some much stronger waves coming in, some real strong reality shifts and um, more divisions of the timelines and and more brilliance and more embodiment through these eclipses. And like I said, even though it was predicted, the experience is profound and palpable and physicalized. And all the things that we were talking about is predicted for 2020 as they kind of come to light and get unveiled on a global level, pretty palpable to everyone that globally things are changing. Um, it's the uh, experience of us and our ascension as star seeds and way showers and light workers that we focus on. So it's just kind of a recentering practice. And I wanted to connect with you and our tribes and everything and just kind of see how everyone is doing. Yes, yeah, see how everyone's doing as we come together like this and, and return our focus on the uh, action or the, what's happening. It truly helps us feel better. Yet there are some, many, including myself, who in moments are overcome with grief, right? Um, the timeline of wearing a mask, that was hard to handle. And I know that's for many light workers. But as you've shared in the past, you know, we feel this embodiment in our body. And I know that so many who are watching this right now have always felt, well, maybe not always felt, but we remember this bliss. We remember this bliss. And that's why we came here. So um, to stay focused on really anchoring heaven within, that is so rewarding. And so the timelines that are playing out, let's clarify. It's not as if people are going to be on the wrong tom timeline. We're seeing the old timeline collapse and so many choosing peace to the point where, oh my gosh, when we really embody our higher self and divine source, can we imagine the solutions or the newness and the creativity that comes from that, the new earth that comes from that? Mm -hmm. And so that's what you call revelation as, as um, the old densities are amplified as they're being released but what's coming in behind that is just so beautiful. So the goal is to keep ourselves focused on that light. Can you share more? Yeah, well, I guess the, the important thing to comprehend is that it is quantum. We're seeing several things happen at once. So when we talk about 
freedom codes in somebody's personal journey is like, I don't see freedom or whatever. You got, you have to approach it from a quantum unified level. And that is the Christ consciousness, having the cosmic perspective on all of this, realizing that the, the divine gifts that 2020 is giving us. And, and this is, you know, just the short list. Number one was death, you know, <laughs> the predictions for 2020, certainly getting everyone to deal with, um, with their, their fear of death. And, and this is all about transmuting these collective fears, fear of death, fear of being in the body, fear of, uh, of not ascending for, for some people, you know, getting uh, afraid of that. It's just this, death treating, uh, teaching us to treat being in the physical in a different way. Because as we go light body, there's less density, there's less attachment to the physical. And that in itself is a freedom code that's getting activated, freedom from fear of death. The dismantling of systems, the dismantling of, the, of old realities and old systems was the second top thing for 2020. And that became immediately clear. These predictions are from December. And that became immediately clear with the dismantling uh, of lower timelines, lesser realities that have no business with the ascension. So literally, we were told in 2018, when we started embodying these higher frequencies, we were able to anchor it. And as we, as conduits, crystallizing, you're going to see it, you know, the crystallization of your own beingness, the Christedness of your own beingness, starting to amplify the new light. And it, br it brings all this, to, it's like turning the light bulb on <laughs> in the dirty closet, you get to see everything that you didn't see before. And that's all it's about is just shining more light on this stuff that needs to be revealed. So dismantling going into overdrive right now, just because those realities and those timelines are getting overwritten and over uh, riding, um, being overrided by the higher light. And the other thing to remember is that things are not as they appear looks like one thing something else is actually happening and that is breaking apart all of these bizarro magic spells that have been in play for quite a while so it's actually breaking that stuff apart by allowing the collective to see one thing and then learn that it's about something else but realize too for those of you who are getting into all of the conspiracy, um, awakening to conspiracy is a whole different level than awakening to ascension. So a lot of people hitting that level right now, very important that a lot of people are, that that stuff is getting revealed. But when you look at from the higher perspective, how all of these agendas are being used in order to bolster ascension and the higher Christed timelines, because we got the the playbook, you know, 20 years ago and started going through all these agendas. Okay, how can they be used to actually amplify the ascension? That's what's happening now. All these people wake up, you got unity, you got revelation, you get higher choices, you get the collective saying no, you get the collective taken to the streets, which we have seen for years that this would, this would happen, that people would actually find their voice and go enough is enough. And you get the people who want to use it for something else and they too are it's all going to flip you know all these things get flipped into actually assisting the ascension so keep that in heart as you see this stuff uh unfolding in the collective and the external yes a lot of it is really difficult to watch and especially for those of us who are tapped in. I want to speak specifically to the star seats that have vision and can see these things unfolding and know it looks like one thing, but another thing is happening. Or you look at the agenda and you know that something else is going to unfold and we're just kind of holding our cards close right now and just kind of holding the energy field really strongly for the Christed timelines because they are 
inevitable. And we know if we put all of our focus there, it's imperative that we attain this embodiment of that Christ itself so that then we move on to the next phase of embodiment after the Trinitized beingness comes being a pure conduit for God, for Divine Mother, for Heavenly Father, for the Paradise Sons and Daughters of God frequencies, for the Great Central Sun to come right through us. And that's why so many of us are getting into these um, bliss states or completely different altered states of consciousness or being knocked out by the rewriting of our DNA or seeing the scintillating, dazzling, Christed strands uh, reforming around our, our beingness. You'll, you'll see it row upon row upon row, the 144,000 light codes of that divine DNA activating. And it might, might look like golden diamond strands. Uh, a lot of us just seeing the helixes all over the place with this shining rain, rainbow plasma light because our rainbow light body is being activated during this passage and there's a huge super wave coming with the second eclipse on the solstice to fully activate that. And we don't know exactly how it's going to unfold in the physical, but for us, every, everything this year is this physicalization of the etheric, what's already happened. You know, guys already had our ascension. We've already put the, you know, it's again, it's quantum. You're looking down the timeline going, wow, there's that event, there's that event, there's that event. Now we get to physicalize it through these timelines. So that timeline structure is already there. That ascension path is already there. It's already happening in that future reality. We're just pulling in and through zero point dynamics into this now through embodiment. So this theme of physicalization of the etheric is pretty clear. Physicalization of all these etheric things that have been happening in the subconscious. There's a huge clearing of the subconscious going on with these freedom codes. And you can see it's, it's pretty, this is gonna be on YouTube, right? I don't wanna break down your YouTube uh, channel. So <laughs> we'll just talk in code, I guess. But you can see the freedom codes hitting the, the darkest stuff first. So beginning of the year, those of you who were involved in that, you know, by mid-March, we had freedom of the stuff that's going on, let's say behind the scenes, you know, uh, hitting the, the most distorted stuff first, clearing that out, freeing, um, let's say children. So that happens first. Then you get into like the stuff that's embedded in the United States for freedom in the crystal beds. And that's, that's been going on for, for quite a few decades. But now like the, um, all the enslavement stuff that has happened here in the United States, that got the freedom code activation during this, this last operation. So now we're getting all the enslavement stuff that's been trapped in the caught in the subconscious of the United States. And now it's getting fed out through the whole world. You know, it started here, started here, you know, again, using an event to create this clearing, to create this revelation, you know, because you see the event, you're like, oh, all right, that's going to, that's going to play out in a much more dimmed down way, believe it or not. Um, than originally intended because we're just using all these uh, agendas to further the ascension, to further the unity consciousness. So it's releasing and getting people to look at, you know, racism and all, all these different things that come from the uh, enslavement codes that have been carried in, in all of us. You know, it's not, it's not a black and white thing. All of us have been carrying that, and now as it comes to um, it comes to light, you know, all of us taking a look at that and clearing it, choosing unity, choosing to to allow all this stuff to transmute. And of course, it's going to come with violence because it started with violence. So it's that too, you know, it's going to have to be released. You know, people are going to have to release 
the, the anger and the angst and the grief and all the stuff that comes with that. And you can feel that being collectively released, be joyful that it's being released and allow yourself to feel it because this is deep, the same stuff that the star seeds went through with the, with the children a couple months ago. Now collectively people are going through this, you know, with the, again, freedom code activation, freedom code activation, and it'll, it'll continue to now it's, it's hitting the control structures and the oppression structures, and then it'll hit the finances. It's going to hit entertainment. It's going to hit the kingdoms and elementals, all these different levels of freedom continue to unfold. And it keeps going all the way through 2020, you know, and this, this eclipse that's, that's coming up with the solstice is attached to the, the one that happens on December 14th huge waves of light assisting the freedom of all of these realms so that everyone has the choice to experience the Christed timelines. And those who are choosing to uh, deny it or defy it or hold it back or whatever, that I'm, I pray every day for, the, for those souls you know, have, have some compassion and have some, just, just forgive them. You know, it's, you don't have to be attached to that at all. You don't have to judge it at all. You know, it is what it is, but I feel really, I'm just like, oh gosh, that's a wild path to ride through such a beautiful ascension process is happening right now, but it is what it is, you know, and there's no, I'm, I'm divinely neutral about all the payback stuff. I'm like, you, you get what God's got coming to you. <laughs> you know? Just hands off, you know, hands off that. You don't have to do anything. And for those star seeds who are attempting to use their influence to try and crush that stuff, oof, you got you to gotta detach, honey. You know, you got to detach from that completely. Use your power for good. You know, don't imitate the, the bad parents. You know, don't imitate... Um, that kind of behavior. It puts you in a, in a different state of consciousness altogether. But the other, the other exciting thing that's happening, Loren, is these solar flashing Christed um, activations that have been going on since December, full body rewrites that are so divine and put you in such a different state of consciousness and it's spreading. That's a beautiful thing. It's spreading through the collective right now and more and more people are having these. And I'm, I'm very excited about that because, you know, we're, we're not sure when we start experiencing it back in December, there were a few people, you know, working with their DNA that were able to connect with the sun that way. And experience and, and it's like nothing you've experienced before full body rewrite you you feel like oh my gosh this is the moment i'm i'm gone i'm just i'm disappearing you feel it your whole body and everything it's a full body rainbow light body activation and of course you settle back in because this is physicalization of the etheric so it happens on this etheric level and then it, it gets physicalized. It's so wild. And you'll see your skin is like just glistening in the sun and everything uh, after this in, in a brand new way. There's a bioluminescence uh, coming into play. It's, it's re I'm very excited about that. All right. I know I'm not the only one that says, I want what she's having. So this um, experience, can you, we're going to talk about the eclipses too and the energies, um, yeah. but physicalizing the etheric. And so for those who want what she's having, can you share um, the connection with the sun? It really is the 0 0.2. What is the process for that? Well, it takes... Uh, I mean, it takes an ascension process, really, it takes ascension practices. If you're somebody who's regularly doing the meditations and clearing your fields and has done the emotional clearing, has done the work, you're, you're, you're up for this. And you can connect with the sun, of course, if you've been doing gate work and, 
and grid work for a while, it's going to be a natural connection. Your heart center is connected to these brand new Stargate flows that have been open since January 13th. It's an organic Stargate system that is reconnecting us with brotherhoods and sisterhoods in other star systems, different planets, different cosmic frequencies. And of course your gateway is through the sun. So if you can lay in the sun, get out on the sun, get out on Gaia, lay down because you won't be able to stay upright during the activation, lay down, connect your heart center to the sun, be prepared for it, kind of comes out of, out of nowhere, you in, invite it in, ask higher self, Christ itself, almighty I am, if I am fully prepared for this experience, let's go, show me. And you ask to experience the solar flashing activity that is already in progress. It's been already in progress since 2016. And again, this physicalization of, of, of the etheric starts to happen and you'll feel in your, you close your eyes, connect with your third eye vision. And in your vision, it looks like the sun is exploding, which we've seen for years, but all, all of a sudden the, the sun gets closer and closer and you're like, oh dear God, this is the moment, right? It's like the, it feels like that is happening in this now because you're in this zero point moment of experiencing what's happening down the timeline for everyone in this now. So it's giving you that experience. We're grounding that experience into the, into the collective because it's an incredible DNA activation. So this zero point collapse happens and you feel the sun just taking over the entire, the entire operation. It feels like a universal lighting up, not just Gaia, not just you. It feels like everything is gone. Your body goes away. Your light body goes away. There's barely a, a consciousness to identify with. And you get this unification with source self that is so pure and so still and so beautiful. And you feel it, the mental levels will start to go, oh my God, I don't know what's happening. Oh my gosh, I'm disappearing. And, and, you, and you calm down <laughs> and come back into your heart center. Okay, shush, 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 let it happen. Let it happen. You breathe through it. And you'll feel your whole body just goes away. You go total, it's just like plasma light everywhere after this zero point thing. And then plasma light everywhere. And you slowly come back into your body. It lasts like 10 to 20 minutes where you feel like, oh my God, here I go, here I go. Surrender, surrender, surrender. It's training you to surrender that when these higher activations happen, you can be calm and release and allow that to occur. Because of course the steps in embodiment are that trinitized beingness and then complete surrender into the divine unknown. So you're experiencing that. We're experiencing this a little ahead, just like everything else, you know, for the last couple of decades, just experiencing everything else a little ahead so that we're anchoring it into the human collective. And you come back into your body, you'll feel yourself start to come back into the physical and you feel completely, you feel complete calm and bliss, probably exhaustion. You probably have to lay down after that, integrate, drink some water, come back into the, the waking consciousness because it feels like an altered reality altogether. And then you're, you're back and it'll keep happening. That's the thing. It happens once. The first one is probably the most difficult because a, a, a lot of people will blow it. They'll get too mental about it, get too scared. Oh my gosh, I'm disappearing. It feels very different if you haven't worked with expanding your Taurus fields. All of a sudden your Taurus fields go kaboom at, with this, this light infusion and it might freak you out if you haven't experienced that or haven't been working on kind of ex expanding your fields. Uh, and that energy, again, that anchoring that energy is working in tandem with these cosmic super waves, if you want to call them that, 
that have been coming in for the last couple of weeks, strong divine feminine, strong divine mother energy, kind of knocking the dominoes over because it is, it's a very strong snowballing effect and it's good, it's plowing right through all of these, all of these timelines, all of these realities, all these realms for what 2020 is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to look like one thing, but another thing is happening. And remember, those are layered realities, different bandwidths. It's quantum. So don't get attached to it's only this, it's only that. That's duality. Don't get attached, don't get kind of trapped in uh, or, or swayed into, uh, I want this, I want that. I want this, I want that. I love that latest crop circle from May 26th. It's a big circle. It's got a pendulum in the middle and the pendulum is a heart and the heart is in the middle point and there's uh, olive branches on both sides, nine leaves this way, nine leaves that way. And that's nine is completion, right? So you're not swinging one way or the other. Boom, we have been preaching divine neutrality for years. Divine neutrality is it. That's the zero point. That's where you need to be in order for this to, to happen to you. And that's gonna, that's pushing us into a completely different experience. And I love that the, the freedom codes are doing what they're doing to the collective right now because it's training people to not judge over and over and over again. You know, this is get out of your judgment, get out of your judgment, judge, even judgment of the, the, it's not just racism or racism is good. Racism is bad. Police are good. Police are bad. It's, it's training people. You gotta, yeah, you gotta get into non-judgment. Yes. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. The, to the judgment to, to be, to, to, I mean, um, it, it can even come down into face masks. Right. And you know what I think here's this, um, it may be interesting right now in the collective for anyone to agree on anything about anything, but what we can agree on, this is the beautiful, the freedom codes in action. Like you're talking about what we can all agree on is that we want happiness, peace, harmony, freedom, justice. So as we look at this year, this understanding helps us um, see what's happening and unfolding, and it really makes us feel much better. And again, the potential is just so awesome to really look at it and see, could you imagine if we don't have a police force anymore, something that wild and dramatic? But this goes beyond that as well. When you look at 2021, we're still going to be talking about 2020 and the eclipses, but what does 2021 look like for you? Completely different state of consciousness, but that's because of my timeline choice. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm unsure about what folks who, who want to watch it burn or want to be entangled or fight, 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 fight to the bitter end. I really don't know. I really don't, I'm not attached to that consciousness any longer. I'm just like, let you have your journey kind of thing. Because I know, I know what my job is. That's the thing. You know, you, you get to put the crown on your head. You get to Christ yourself. You get to choose. That's your choice. And when we talk about honoring choices, I mean, people are talking about racism and things like that. And for those of us who have, who have been exposed to aliens <laughs> and ETs and different races and different forms of consciousness altogether, you know, that, that kind of perspective, you kind of look at what's going on, on, on Gaia right now on our lower realms and go, oh, wow, <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is. And absolutely no judgment because it's needed. It's needed to release that because it's preparing people to accept people that look different, different forms of consciousness, different opinions about everything, 
about how things work and to kind of break apart all these, again, it's dismantling, dismantling of old systems, old energy systems, old uh, ways of dealing with the physical, ways of dealing with God, ways of dealing with love and, and unity. And you can see more and more unity when you really focus on it. You see more and more unity all the time. We saw it with the bug. We're seeing it with the, what's going on now with the protests. You're seeing more unity. And yet there, there are people who want you to focus on the negative thing. Things are not as they appear, beloveds. You know, just, just let it go. You, you get to choose your reality. If anything, it's really pushing us into learn the creator state of consciousness. You learn how to use your unity consciousness. And that's something that even the star season light workers, you know, work, working it out. It's just, you know, if people want to be polarized about ways and methods and everything, they get to, they get to transmit that too. Let it go. Let it go. You know, what, what's the goal? What's your intention? You know, if your intention is unity, consciousness and love, let it, let it be. Apply that. You know, you really need to apply your mastery skills during, during this period and not paint everything with the same brush. Well, if it isn't this, then it must be that. You know, or if that part of my, just back up and view it from the God consciousness. Well, if that part of my consciousness is screwed up or distorted, then everything must be not true. You know, so you really have to look at everything and go, wait a minute, let me just back up to the cosmic, cosmic perspective, knowing that all of this can be disassembled in a moment and shall be disassembled in several cosmic moments <laughs> as we, as we go through this. So yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's sad that it, that it has to unfold in this way, but trust me, it could have been a lot worse. So realize we're getting the, the, um, the maximum amount of ease and grace while still obeying cosmic law, because you have a lot of people still using their consciousness to say they're going to do this, that's going to happen, this is going to happen. They said this, they're going to do that to us. A lot of people still running that program, unplug from those inorganic things that are attempting to use your consciousness to create things and override it with that shall not be, you know, command the higher thing, you know, just whip out your DNA decrees and start, <laughs> start going at it. Override, override, override. We have the power to do that and are implementing that. And remember that the higher your vibration is, the more influence you have by quantum effect. Higher vibration always lifts up and dismantles the lower, always. So remember that the higher your vibration, the more impact you have on your personal and collective realities. And when you link together with the other folks in that high vibration, extremely powerful, extremely powerful. Just a reminder not to get entangled or overstimulated. If you're looking at that stuff, don't get overstimulated or be, remember that the optic nerve is very sensitive during this time. So mm. if you don't want your, if you want clarity, this whole 2020 vision, 2020 hindsight thing that's happening this year, if you really want that clarity, you can't be just ladling your, your brain and your optic nerve with images of, of negativity and distortion or sadness. You know, there's, there's a lot of that out there. So if you're just getting on the Twitter feed and just kind of getting the, the dopamine hit, stop. Yes. Thank you for that. I'm guilty. I, I take a peek at it. Yeah. Um, but this is very powerful um, in staying on point and on purpose. Thank you for that. 
Um, so, and you've answered someone's question about how you really get out of that collective programming. You just override it, override it, override it. Just unplug. Unplug. Unplug from it. Realize Fuck. that it's all, you know, I, I know everyone says, oh, it's just an illusion or whatever. But when it gets, when the, when the real hits the real, <laughs> people are like, oh my gosh. And they're like, I thought you said it was an illusion, you know? <laughs> so remember <laughs> that you're in charge of where you direct your consciousness and how your experience will unfold. You know, and I look at all the beautiful light workers and star seeds that are showing up and it does not matter if they are, you know, there, there are star seeds that are not, you know, going out and doing grid work and gate work and everything. They're the ones showing up and hugging the cops and they're all, you know, all that stuff that's going on. I'm like, there they are, there they are, there they are. You know, you can see people dancing together now for goodness sake, you know, it's like you, you got to see what's actually happening and focusing on that rather than where the um, lame stream wants to steer your consciousness. So, yes. And I want to reiterate, Christed timelines are inevitable. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. They They're already running. Oh, we wouldn't have to be having the experiences that we're having. You know, we're, we're writing the higher timelines, you know, and anchoring those for everybody. That's, all, that's already occurred. It's inevitable. All the people that are saying, oh, my gosh, it's going to crash or whatever. Yeah, those lower realities. Yeah. They're going to break apart. But the higher thing, the thing that's happening right now, there's so much good happening. And as a rep for the alliances, wow. It's it, brilliant. It's brilliant. Again, it looks like one thing. It's, it's going forward with as much ease and grace as possible. Realize you have some really strong energies uh, uh, that, that don't want things to happen. They're getting their ass kicked <laughs> right now. So, and I want to remind everyone, cornered wildcats are very unpredictable. You know, when you're dealing with bullies and people that have been the bully, been the boss for, for a long time, and you get this huge infiltration, um, that make, that's, it's dangerous, you know? So please send as much love and light to the positive alliances and to all the people risking their lives and a lot of them giving their lives to these, to these operations and the stuff that's happening behind the scenes. You don't need to know or identify or search for who they are. You will never know who they are. You know, these are a lot of them divine beings that have chosen to play roles. And I'm not talking about the stuff that's on TV and Twitter and everything like that. People that are, you, you'll never know about. Send as much love and light to the positive alliances as possible because they are literally um, giving their entire life streams, some, some of them several life streams, to what's happening right now to benefit the whole. So when it comes to dismantling and the, the things that you're seeing, don't, don't make any assumptions, beloveds. You know, send your light to everyone. And don't be selective about who you se send your light to. Because if you, you send light to everyone, there's, there are some, there's some consciousness that is blinded by that. And, you know, it's easier to deal with blinded wildcats <laughs> than, uh, you know, if there's so much light, they literally can't see. So it's, you know, just send as much light as possible in a peaceful, divinely neutral way for highest and best interests of all concerned. Let's talk about the eclipses. Um, there's three of them, right? And there was one yesterday. We're still in the energies of this. Can you share on that? Yeah, this first one was all about the brotherhoods and sisterhoods of light giving us um, divine dispensations. And the, the kind of a rainbow light body activation, crystalline light body activations that are going on uh, for the past week have been very strong. Uh, but for those of us who are connected to 
Great White Lodge of Sirius, which includes, it's not just Syrians, it's Lyran, Pleiadian, Arcturian, Andromedan, uh, Syrian alliances, uh, which may present as ascended masters to a lot of people when we talk about brotherhoods and sisterhoods of light. Uh, that galactic lineage or galactic operation that was overlighting this part of the ascension, as it does expand, it, it, the ascension process continues to expand. But for this gateway, these windows that we're going through right now um, that were key to the higher timelines, that was, that was um, being overlighted by, um, by a lot of these different alliances. And the Brotherhoods and Sisterhoods of Light can provide for the, the repre their, representation, their representatives, which is a lot of way showers, a lot of star seats, uh, a lot of folks here who, felt, who have felt that resonation um, with those lineages are getting beautiful dispensations right now. And I have to say the amplification that was provided by this eclipse that started with the new moon and, and we've seen what has happened uh, over the last um, week with this amplification, just a huge amount of freedom codes, again, deeply connected to the crystal beds in the United States and people who are carrying those freedom codes in their DNA and that gets activated. It's a collective human consciousness. So it creates this balancing and stability for the cosmic super wave uh, that's coming, which is a, this really interesting galactic alignment and opening of these cosmic stargates with this new organic substance. It's like you can you can feel it. It's this plasma, of course, this very flowy plasma, a form of water. So it's delivering these these new sensations. And I know for, for myself over the last couple of days, I've felt this um, just head to toe surges, plasma surges of this very scintillating, sparkling, dazzling um, DNA strand effect coming into uh, my fields and, and that kind of rainbow plasma light body as a very pastel um, vibrating substance. Uh, but but you kept feeling these surges through the heart and then this head to toe, head to toe. And it was just, you would lay down and just all night long, just zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm like, wow, this stuff is really anchoring in, right? Because we serve as open conduits for that. So that's what the brotherhoods and sisterhoods are delivering right now is this next rebundling, next layers of the DNA. It's a ninth layer of DNA that allows, of course, it's all quantum, so you can't amplify one strand without hitting the rest of them. So it's it's a quantum effect, but that's, it's, once you hit that ninth level layer strand, it, you can't create distortion anymore. So it's, it's anchoring that in, no more distortion, no more distortion, which in effect allows all the distortion, you know, around us to uh, get amplified, revealed, released, amplify, re reveal, release over and over again through 2020 comes to light gets revealed everybody deals with it uprising whatever it needs release and then it, there's a, a calm a balance of we're all at a higher level unity revelation and people get as much time as they need to integrate that into their own hearts you know, a lot, most of the collective has no emotional clearing skills. So that's where our teachers and our way showers really um, need to show up right now is in that level of service. Let, let me assist you. If they ask, I, I can offer you assistance with that or here's some tools or just check in how, ask people, how do you feel right now because a lot of them don't know that it's okay to express yourself you know you give them a safe space to express whatever it is they're feeling so that again it can be ousted from their subconscious fields that are dominating their dna you know the dna is dominated by the subconscious until you do all the clearing and then you can let the higher light 
start to uh, start to activate more and more DNA strands or fields so that you get the, the broader perspective, the heart perspective, heart coherence. Now that this is getting so coherent right now, it's, it's quite beautiful. So this super wave that we have coming in, solstice, oh my gosh, solstice. Uh, uh, solstice and an eclipse on the, on the same within hours of each other, uh, which is quite incredible, happens on the same day for those in the Pacific time zone. But it's a galactic convergence. It's an alignment with the galactic ecliptic. It's the earth, the sun, the moon are all, all aligned with the galactic ecliptic and the galactic center. And these ancient celestial pathways open and this brand new energy starts surging in. And we know, beloveds, we are wise enough. Please engage your divine wisdom to know that the external always looks chaotic when these super waves come in. So don't attach to, I thought it was gonna be one thing and it's another. Ride your higher timeline through this that doesn't mean you ignore or deny what other people's experiences are. You know, you can walk around with a mask honoring the people who are scared. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter to a starseed who has their heart open and their divine. You're not walking around judging people who have masks. You know, it's like, it's just a game. Oh, we're playing mask right now. You know, just keep that perspective. Keep that perspective. And when it comes to the immense amount of wounding that's clearing right now in the collective and all the suppression and all the freedom codes and everything that are stepping up, really maintain that perspective as we go through these amplifications because there is no pause between what's happening now, what's happening with the eclipse and the solstice and what's happening with the eclipse on July 4th, which is Independence Day. So these are all, this window is tight. This is only five weeks. And it's not like, oh, and now we can rest and integrate. And then here comes a super wave. It's already here. We're going so quantum with this stuff. And it's so zero point. You're feeling it already. We felt it since the beginning of the year. Oh my gosh, 2020. Here we are again, snowballing. You know, divine mother kicked the domino already. Doom, 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 doom. One thing after the other. It is up to us, star seeds, light workers, way showers, all of us who are awakened to the ascension to hold the balance, to hold the balance within. You don't have to take on everybody else's stuff. What you have to do is maintain your own emotional balance, the mental balance, the physical balance, the spiritual balance. Allow the activations to integrate, to land, to physicalize, and know that your brothers and sisters that are taking on rainbow light body, don't worry about us. Please celebrate the divine victories across the board. If someone just had an awakening, celebrate them. If somebody just had a light body activation, celebrate them. Feel it. Send it out every morning after you do your meditations and you feel into your highest timelines to create that. Take a moment to send out your divine love and divine light and divine support to everybody who's working for, for the good right now and everybody who's experiencing awakening, ascension at whatever level. Just send out your love and say, go for it. We fully support you. We have to remember there's only one of us here. Fully support that, that awakening. So this whole like old earth, old new age thing of like judging where people are in their process or whatever, all that egoic stuff, gone, right? Learn how to speak it, learn how to feel it, learn how to support that wherever people are and know your, know your role, know your role too. So that if you say, well, I can't help you with that, but here's somebody who can and you just, we, we're working as one now. So when it comes to the, the services and the support and everything, I'm constantly sending people to other specialists who do things that I don't do. And people are, are sending people to me that do what I do. So it's, you know, there's, we're supporting everybody right now, whatever 
level they're at, but be sure that you just send out huge amounts of love to everybody who's awakening and everybody who is supporting unity in any way they can. Thank you, Sandra. I know that so much love is coming from this group, from everyone watching and who watches the recording to our planet. And that really is uplifting. It just makes me want to cry actually right here. And I wish I could sing really good because I'd whip into that song. I just want to celebrate a brand new way of living. <laughs> Somebody help me here. Anyway, um, I love what you said. There's only one of us here. That's profound. And I think we really are witnessing this. As you said, we wear a mask um, to honor other people and to be considerate. So that's beautiful. This is really a beautiful perspective today. And I hope that everyone is uplifted from this message. Sandra, that's what makes you this beautiful way shower. You know, I have I came to you and I actually use the word leadership and you're like, no, that's not the vibe. And it's true. It's leadership is the old, the way shower, the, the, the way shower, um, the embodiment. That's the way. And yeah. it's such a beautiful message. Yeah, the becoming. And that's the thing is honor your honor your own process. You know, everyone who is fighting for their the the voice right now, that's a huge thing in the collective right now. Fantastic, right? Fight for your voice, fight for your right to be heard. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And also honor where you are in your process and don't feel guilty about the, about the goodness that you feel when everything in the external is telling you, you know, how dare you feel good right now? How dare you um, to talk about uh, the, the Christ and the ascension and everything when things are falling apart? That's, that's been the, that's been the, on the conversation. I mean, uh, pardon me. That's a really old conversation because for decades, we've been the ones talking about something that other people could not see, could not feel, had no comprehension of. And now that it's become widespread and the realities are dividing, timelines dividing. And again, we're migrating as many willing hearts to the higher timeline as possible many different realms to go into with Gaia, you know, seven different realms of that ascended platform to go in. So some of them are just, you know, at the just hidden unity consciousness. Oh, love is the answer. <laughs> and then some of us really going for like super, you know, starseed, light body, you know, universal level. But that though, that's all that Gaia is providing for us right now. So don't feel guilty if there's anything as a seasoned way shower embodier that I can provide for people don't feel guilty about your experience and how you're feeling because you know back in the day when you were the only one awake and all that stuff yeah you had a lot of pushback you know how dare you talk about that when things are so bad you know kind of thing um, now it's just amplified 2020 is whew, turn the volume up to 13 you know, divine mother, wang, you know, it's like, it just the amplification is loud. That means really loud amplification of the dismantling and a really loud amplification of the embodiment and the ascension. So don't allow other people to, to judge, you know, well, I mean, they can judge, they can do whatever they like. Just stay in your heart, stay neutral about that and empower your right to talk about it, empower your right to feel the way that you feel about certain leaders, whatever, you know, I don't get involved in politics, but there's a lot of judgment about politics because an election year in, in the United States on top of everything else. So try not to get entangled with that too much. You know, just stay on your path. You get to direct your path. That's anything that we can share with everyone is you empower your experience. So however you want to write it, that's how it's going to be. 
So collectively, yes, very powerful for collective experiences, but you get your own unique expression. You know, there's no two things in this entire universe that are on the same vibration. That's how God has this experience. Everything is vibrating a little bit differently, a little bit unique. You know, there's no vibrational match of anything. But when you get close, then you get collective experiences. So empower your collective experience of whatever you would like to experience, but also truly honor your own voice and your own journey through this whole thing. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we are floating in the higher consciousness perspective, feeling unity consciousness on a whole new level and really fortified from this tumultuous week. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sandra. Um, you have mentioned that Gaia is a living library and she literally has all of our lifetimes on her and that information available to us. And that this process of bringing the living library online, that's our wisdom. As we wrap up our session today, can you share a little bit more about how we access or communicate with that living library? Yeah, well, um, meditation is key, of course, to get into the stillness where you can actually access that. But the, the light coming in right now is activating things within Gaia. Ancient stargates are really gonna pop during the solstice. So pay attention, prepare uh, yourself for, for that now, it's happening now. But what's happening is there's um, frequencies that unlock the living library within the DNA. So the DNA is creating your experience. It vibrates in tandem with the living library stuff that's encoded in the caves of creation, which is a crystalline structure that we all come in through and leave through. So there's caves of creation, living library, DNA, living library. So they all coordinate. It's like a little trinity in itself they all coordinate to unlock everything that you've ever been so through this zero point thing that we're experiencing now which a lot of us are anchoring through that solar flash slash zero point slash christed activation thing that's happening right now it's all the we're using different terms for the same thing it's a collapsing of the field so something new can be birthed what, as that happens continually through this, we keep getting, that's what the flash is about. It's like implosion, explosion, implosion, explosion. As that happens and gets anchored, you start unlocking parts of your DNA and the living library that Gaia is. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of wisdom there. You're not going back to what you were. You're actually connecting to a future self that embodies all of that, paying forward the good paying forward the lessons, paying forward the wisdom so that you can then turn into the, the next evolved version of yourself, of your higher self. So that's what that's about. So the more that you meditate, you're gonna to wanna to fast for a couple of days, you know, to allow the DNA to reset, use the DNA decrees, uh, if, if you haven't worked with DNA before, those are free on my website. Understand that the freedom codes too affect everyone differently. So whatever you've got in your subconscious, the more you release that, the more you do emotional clearing, the more you express that. It doesn't have to be to the outside world, just to yourself. If you want to journal through it or go to the woods and speak to God, uh, it just needs to be expressed at this point. But the, all of that will allow you to unlock that wisdom, meditate on it, ask for it. Don't beg the universe for it. Ask your, you know, get in the cosmic powwow with your team, your higher aspects. Ask the brotherhoods and sisterhoods of pure light and service to the pure and true organic ascension to provide that activation for you and then feel it light grounded, grounded into the physical. Again, everything getting physicalized this year, write it down, express it through art, speak it, do a blog, whatever, whatever it is that your expression, ground it into the physical so that everyone, so it, it shares it through, the, through these realms. 
Hmm. I hope that helps. Beautiful. That does help. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Thank you. This is why we came to this planet. This is why we came and we're in it now. We're in deep shift. Okay. Yeah. Sandra, you have said so many beautiful words today and I know we're so inspired and uplifted, but as we close, I want to just give you that moment to just wrap it and put a little cherry on top. Yeah. Everyone just come right into your heart center. Take a breath, hands on the heart. Breathe. Do this often. Feel that divine spark you are. Know there is nothing here but love and everything else is just the dismantling of the distortion. Have deep compassion for where everybody is in their journey. And as we are as a collective, deep compassion, deep love, deep unity, unify, assist, support everywhere that you can. Connect with Gaia and the kingdoms and the elementals as often as possible. And don't ignore humanity and what they're going through right now. Send, let's just send a big love wave out with the diamond solar light coming right through our divine DNA, lighting up all the human hearts, lighting up the crystalline new earth grids, the divine stargates, sending our love out through the Gaia realms to the solar realms, to the galactic center, to the great central sun, unifying, and just sending that wave out through the great central sun as the great central sun, breathing out with waves of love, peace and ascension in this now, out through, creating those harmonic sounds, tones, colors, cosmic rays of evolution, divine frequencies out through the realms, all galaxies, all solar systems, all planets, all expressions of creation, divine clarion call, unity, love, peace, harmony, grace, divine beingness. I am. So it is. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sandra Walter, this has been so beautiful and we are so grateful. And I want to remind everyone to connect in. Sandra has been leading Unity Meditations. Actually, we've been all meeting in the Unity Meditations from our silent, sacred silent space Sundays, 11, 11 a.m. Pacific time, but also is it 5, 11 and 8, 11 a.m. Pacific time. And those are beautiful. And we can really sense and feel each other there. So we invite everyone to continue and thank you for sharing in that space. Sandra, I just want to give you a huge etheric hug. And we're all giving you a huge group hug. Let's give our whole group a huge hug. <laughs> I love you all so much. There's so much love here. Just keep focused on the love. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sandra. Mm -hmm. 